so hello guys welcome to our youtube channel so in this video we are going to learn about the milky way galaxy so first of all let's see what a galaxy means so a galaxy is a massive system of stars dust gas dark matter and other things that all are held together by gravity galaxies are the fundamental building blocks of the universe and they come in wide variety of shapes and sizes the Milky Way, for example, is a spiral galaxy with an estimated 100 billion stars. So Milky Way. Our solar system is situated in the galaxy known as Milky Way. So the Milky Way is a highly flattened disk-shaped galaxy comprising about 200 billion of stars and other objects like molecular clouds, globular clusters, gas, dust, particles, etc. It is so huge that to travel from one edge of the galaxy to the other, light takes almost 1 lakh years. So you can imagine the size of the Milky Way galaxy. So the radius of our Milky Way galaxy is about 15,000 parsec and thus our solar system is located roughly at a distance of about 8.5 kilo parsec from the center of the galaxy. And the total mass of the Milky Way galaxy has been estimated to be about 2 into 10 raised to the power 11 solar masses. So you can imagine how massive the Milky Way galaxy is. So Milky Way galaxy can be divided into three distinct parts. A central bulge which is denoted by B, the flattened galactic disks and a halo which surrounds the galaxy. So here is the structure of the Milky Way galaxy. So here at the center of the galaxy this part is known as the central bulge. And these spiral arms are known as the flattened disks. And the things which surround this Milky Way galaxy are known as halo. So the Milky Way belongs to the local group a group of 3 big and 30 odd small galaxy and our nearest neighbor galaxy is Andromeda galaxy which is also a massive galaxy like the Milky Way. So now let's discuss the central bulge part of our Milky Way galaxy. The central bulge is a more or less spherical clouds of stars. So being located at, at the disk region of the galaxy we cannot see this region in optical wavelengths. It is so because the disk region consists of gas and dust which absorbs optical wavelengths and obstructs our views. The total mass of the bulge is estimated to be around 10 raised to the power 10 solar masses. Apart from stars, this region consists of gases in the form of molecular clouds and ionized hydrogen. The motion of the stars and the gas near the center of the bulge has a state there could be a massive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. So now let's discuss the other component that is the disk component. So the flattened disk component has a radius of around 15,000 parsec but its thickness is very small. Most of the stars are located along the central plane at the disk and as we move Away from this plane, the density of the star decreases. The most significant feature of the disk component is the existence of spiral arms. So in the figure you said that, that there are several spiral arms related to that figure. So condensation of stars has been observed along the spiral arms. These arms have been these arms have very young stars and they are known as population one stars, star forming nebulae and other star class clusters. The arms are named after the constellations in the direction of which a large portion of the arm is situa situated. Our solar system is located on a local or Orion arm. Now let's discuss the last component that is the halo component. The bulge and the disk component are surrounded by another not so well defined and not so well understood spherical component known as halo component. This is mainly made up of gas and older population of stars. These stars exist, exist in very dense clusters, each cluster having 10 raised to the power 5 to 10 raised to the power 6 stars. And these are called globular clusters. Stars in, the, in these clusters are so densely packed that they, are, they cannot be resolved and clusters appear like a circular patch of light. 
So the nature of the galactic rotation suggested there is a large amount of matter which is governing the motion of the stars in the disk and this matter is not visible in any wavelengths and are known as dark matter. So this is for today's video. We hope that you have understood all the topics. Thank you for watching this video.